Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to watch me do a frontal sewing start to finish and learn how to melt that lace, definitely continue watching. So jumping right into the information, I like to use Collider Colors bleach and this is the one for dark hair only and i'll go in with f40 volume developer from clairol as well and i like to mix this on a little paper plate or just a flat surface i find that this works best for me and i like to go ahead and just mix that all around with my butter knife now i like to apply bleach with the butter knife because it's going to make everything nice smooth and even when you're applying it on that lace So after we're just going to go and pull those extra hairs down out of the way so we don't have a chance of over bleaching those, you're just going to go ahead and flip your lace right over. Now I like to bleach on my hand so I can see through and with this being an HD lace I can definitely see through well. So what I'm looking for is I'm just looking at those knots on the other side of the lace to make sure that I'm not putting that bleach too far in front of those. Because what's going to happen is the bleach will expand and it's going to seep through the lace and you're going to make those knots in the front over bleached. And now with this, I'm just going ahead and just smoothing it down like some peanut butter and you just want to make sure everything's nice and even so that you have an even coating of bleach on this lace and the knots come out evenly bleached. Now let's just go ahead and wash that bleach off. So first, I just like to go ahead and rinse everything off of that lace, all of the bleach. And you're just going to go ahead and just rinse that off. It doesn't really matter if you use like cold or hot water. I just use lukewarm. It doesn't really matter. And apologies from me for my big arm being in the way. Um, I was at a weird angle trying to record this in my sink. So I'm just going to go in with my Shimmer Light Shampoo. And I'm just going to be using that. You will see me put a generous amount on the lace and I'll just be massaging everything in circles. Now if you have a more fair or lighter client, I would suggest letting this sit on there so you can get more of a toning agent. But since my client was more dark skin and she had more of a warm skin tone, I didn't feel the need to tone the knots as much. Say hi to my beautiful model. I think this is my first time using a darker brown skin girl on my channel and I was so excited for this because most people find that they can't really melt lace on dark skins people so I will have a video actually doing that with a transparent lace soon so I'm not the best braider just a disclaimer but my braids are tight and secure and they're just gonna make sure that the sewing is actually secure to her head but they don't look the most pretty I just like to go ahead and just braid everything straight back and then you'll just be picking up the braid, the end of the braid you just finished and going and pulling it up into the next braid. Um, I'm not sure what the actual technique is called, but that's the technique that I like to use for my braid down. And as you can see, we have everything all, you know, braided back, parted back. I like to do about 10 plus braids to make sure everything is flat. So today's hair is sent to us from Goddess Lengths. They sent us a 24, 26, 28 with a matching HD lace frontal. And let me just say, you guys, I loved this hair. So we're going in with some got to be gel and we're just going to be smoothing back her edges and we're just combing all of those edges back because we don't want anything to be in the way or just hanging out when we go ahead and put this glue down we just want everything to be nice and neat and slicked back now you're just going to want to put your cap on your client and i like to go ahead and cut out holes around the ears this is just going to make sure that this cap is flesh and tight flat at this area making sure it doesn't lift so now i'm going in just on top of that gel in the hairline area with my got to be spray and i'll just go ahead and blow dry everything down now on to the fun part plucking 
So for this, I just like to, first of all, let me just let you guys know that this lace came pre-plucked. So it was HG lace, so I didn't feel the need to do much plucking, but I just plucked a bit to make everything just look more natural. And also another disclaimer, please forgive my ashy hands. I don't know who let me go on camera like this, but my hands are literally white. Like I've been dusting chalkboard erasers. But so I just went ahead and that back part of the line that I parted out and just plucked everything back. And then you'll see me going in from the front part of that hairline and just pulling out a few pieces directly from the front. Now, like I said, I didn't want to over pluck this because I feel like HD laces are more delicate and thin and it can be very easy to over pluck them. And yeah, so just going in from that middle part of the hairline, just plucking out a few hairs. And as you can see, everything looks really nice and natural. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut this cap off. And I'm just going along the hairline area with my scissors and just cutting off that excess cap up to her hairline. I may give myself a bit of allowance just so that that cap isn't directly at her hairline, but I'm just cutting it off fairly close. So I'm just taking some makeup close to her skin tone and I'm just going to be putting this all along the cap. Now I don't, for one, always feel like you have to have a super melted and matching cap, but when you do use these HD laces, because they're so see-through and thin, you definitely want to make sure that that cap matches the client. And so now you guys will see me just placing this on her hairline to see where we're going to be putting everything and if she likes the placement. And now I'm going in with my alcohol to just go ahead and wipe off any excess makeup, oils, dirt, anything that's going to cause this lace not to lay. And as always, we're going in with my favorite, the Bold Hold Active. I'm just going ahead and just placing this all along her hairline. And since I did go ahead and wipe that makeup off earlier, it kind of left me a marker area to know like where to go which worked perfectly for me and I'm just gonna go ahead and just place that glue all along the hairline now I don't know what happened to the clip of me actually smoothing her glue out so I just go ahead and smooth it out with the end of my rat tail comb but now you'll see me placing that hairline lace down directly into the glue and don't be scared to pull it up if it's not in the direct area as long as you haven't went and smoothed everything down into it you should be fine to pull it up I sometimes do this just to make sure everything is in the right positioning in the right area and now as always I'm just gonna go in with the teeth of my comb to just go ahead and comb this lace down directly into the glue just to make sure everything is all secured so we're just going to go ahead and cut off this excess lace and I'm just cutting directly in front of the hairline and I'll go ahead and you'll see me just put that area down right there because I was kind of pulling it up when I was going ahead and trying to lay down this lace. So once we have that all done, we're just going to go ahead and I'll cut off the excess lace in the middle that was lifted because we did pull this down farther and we didn't want that lace to buckle in this area. And now I'll go ahead and just cut off the excess lace around the ears and add in some extra glue right in front of that ear area to make sure everything is nicely secured. Now I'm just going to go ahead with my comb again and just secure everything down with the teeth of the comb. Just again making sure everything is meshed well into the glue and all secure. Now I like to go ahead and tie my hairline down with some Sanic wrap strips and afterwards I'll go in and sew down the back of my frontal and you'll see me just going in and sewing it down directly to the braids and what I like to do is go through the braid through the thick part of the frontal and I'll just loop my thread twice and then I'll just go ahead along the whole back of the frontal and just sew that down so it's nice and flesh and flat. And anytime you see like little bulges or bubbles, I do go in and sew those down as well. Now, onto the bundles. Similar idea here. I just go ahead and I have my client hold the bundle so that it's flesh and tight and flat down to the head. And I'll just go ahead all across and I'm just going, pulling 
around the weft through the braid and I'll loop it two to three times and then pull. And you're just going to repeat this until you get all the way up to the back of the frontal and that last weft will be secured and sewn directly to the back of the frontal. Now, because I did like the natural texture that this hair came in, I just kind of replicated it with my curlers. So I'm just wrapping them around the same way you would do like a wand curl. So you will twist the hair as you wrap it around the barrel. And I just let it sit for a few seconds. And then I just went ahead and pulled it out. And I was so happy with the way that everything turned out. So now I'm going in with my Kendra's Boutique hot comb again. As you guys know, in my last two videos, I love this hot comb. It gets everything nice and flat, and it's so lightweight and easy to use. It gets up to 500 degrees, so I definitely love it to make everything nice and flat. And you'll just see me going ahead and smoothing out that part, the back, and the hairline. And now I'm using my wax stick to make sure that part is nice and flat and everything has a nice and neat look to it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat those curls on this frontal. And like I said, you're going to wrap the hair around the barrel and twist the actual hair as you wrap it. And I just let it sit for 5 to 10 seconds and then I pulled it out. And I'm just going to repeat the same thing on that side. Now, originally when I did these curls, I did uh, have in mind for them to just all be like, you know, the same way and curl. But I did end up going in to the bang area and combing everything together. Now onto the baby hairs. We're just gonna go ahead and just cut these short. Like I say, I always like to do like an inch or a little bit under an inch. And I'm going in with my edge control brush. I just have it sprayed with some got to be spray. Sorry for the camera movement. And I'm just going ahead and I'm just swooping these out and back. As you guys can see in the hair that's at the back of the baby hair that's closest to the actual hairline, I'm just swooping that straight back. And I just went in with my spray alone without the gel because I wanted a really soft and natural look. And with baby hairs, you kind of have to play around with them until you find a shape and a form that you actually like. It's subjective when you do baby hairs, so I can't really tell you. The perfect way to do them because the baby hairs are framed differently for each client's face and hairstyle. Now let's look at this final look. As you guys can see, everything looks nice and cute. Um, I also liked the way the curls were before I went in and combed the bang together, but I also love bangs a lot. So I did, of course, go ahead and cut that bang and comb all the hairs up there together to make everything look really nice and bangish, if that's a word. And then I'll go ahead on the other side and just cut some layers in just to make sure everything flows well together. My favorite thing about this hair was the texture because some of the pieces aren't even curled with the curlers and it had this natural curled texture look to it that I absolutely loved. The lace was such a such a such a dream to work with. It was so thin and easy to work with and I really loved it. I would definitely get some hair from this company again. And literally, let me get up close for you guys to see this look. It was so bomb. And it looked so pretty on her skin complexion and the curls and everything was just perfect. I was so in love with this look. Um, I could literally play in these curls all day, which I kind of did. I had to crap out quite a bit of footage of me just running my fingers through her hair, fluffing it up, and just playing with it, as you guys see here. But this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any videos you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, definitely like. And if you aren't subscribed already, definitely join my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.